Hi everybody, today is April 22nd, 2014. Rare birth defects still spiking in Washington State. 30 rare cases that started out as 7 cases of a rare fatal birth defects were reported in remote regions of Washington State in 2013, making it the fourth consecutive year that rates have more than tripled the national average, health officials said Tuesday. There's still no clear reason for the spike in anesthesia, a severe defect in which babies are born missing parts of the brain or skull, according to the Washington State Health officials. NBC News investigated the issue in February. It has been suggested that the Yakima, Benton, and Franklin counties just happen to have three things in common. The Yakima River. A noxious weed eradication program using copious amounts of glyphosate for years on both land and in the river. And an increase in encephalitis which glyphosate just happens to be suspected of causing. Glyphosate remains a hazardous substance for over 40 years in the environment. Considering the government's propensity to ignoring any connection between Monsanto's glyphosate and health effects, and the fact that the EPA just raised allowable glyphosate levels, I think we can safely assume that the correlation between increased usage and these brain damages babies will not be adequately investigated. But it brings to 30 the number of cases reported since 2010 in the area that includes Yakima Benton, site of the Hanford Nuclear Hazard Waste Site, and Franklin counties in central Washington state. The anesthesia rate jumped to 8.7 cases per 10,000 births in the region, far exceeding the national rate of 2.1 cases per 10,000 births. We're really concerned about the fact that anesthesia rates are still so high, said Mandy Starr an Epidemic Intelligence Service Officer with the Center of Disease Control and Prevention based in Washington State. We were sort of hoping that this may be a statistical anomaly and would go away. State and federal officials plan to convene an advisory committee of national experts to review options for investigation and prevention, Starr said. Next month, I'll hold a listening sessions in the community to hear public concerns about the rise in birth defects in this region. The community members, they live here, Starr said. They may say things that we don't. But that hardly seems like enough, said one mother whose baby was born with spinal bifida last year and was considered part of a cluster of cases of neutral tube defects in the region. It's good that they want everybody's thoughts. Well, what are they going to do about it, said Andrea Jackman, 30, who lived in an orchard in Yakima, Washington, while she was pregnant and now lives in Ellensburg. Her daughter, Olivia, is seven months old. Many residents are convinced that leaking tanks of nuclear waste from the region's nearby Hanford nuclear plant may be to blame. But Dr. Edith Chung, a University of Washington medical expert on birth defects, said there has not been a good evaluation of the plant's impact on anesthesia or other problems. The Hanford site is a mostly decommissioned nuclear production complex operated by the United States federal government on the Columbia River in the U.S. state of Washington. The site has been known by many names, including the Hanford Project, Hanford Works, Hanford Engineer Works, or HEW, and Hanford Nuclear Reservation, or HNR. Established in 1943 as part of the Manhattan Project in the town of Hanford, in South Central Washington. The site was the home of B Reactor, the first full-scale petroleum production reactor in the world. Petroleum manufactured at the site was used in the first nuclear bomb tested at the Trinity site and in Fat Man. The bomb detonated over Nagasaki, Japan. Hanford is currently the most contaminated nuclear site in the United States and is the focus of the nation's largest environmental cleanup. A total of 177 underground waste tanks still remain and leaking there. So which is it? The nuclear site and the combination of Monsanto's Roundup that was heavily used and is still used. In many orchards, such as this woman lived in, the rivers and streams that were sprayed from the 1960s and still sprayed. Or is it a combination of a Monsanto and nuclear waste? Put your comments down below. Bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.